Hunter's Ridge Golf Course was built within a 400-acre site of rolling hills and abundant native areas in eastern Iowa. The front nine boasts gracefully curving bent grass fairways, flat landing areas, strategically placed bunkers and gently contoured greens. The contrasting back nine narrows, adds wetlands, forced carries, and risk-reward shots. Now incorporate 50 bunkers, 10 ponds, and over 20 years to mature and you have a course that offers the novice golfer a somewhat forgiving course, yet challenges the most accomplished professional golfer. It is a course that bears the unmistakable mark of a true championship course. The Lodge Overlooking the golf course Is the perfect location and is fully equipped to accommodate corporate outings, fundraisers, and even social events. The large putting green, practice areas for chipping and sand shots. Driving range and pro shop are the centers of activity for everyone from the beginner to the professional golfer. We've worked hard to provide you a perfect setting for your next outing. Now, let's take a tour of our championship course. Welcome to Hunter's Ridge. Despite the bunkers, the right side is your best approach angle. The green is long, leans left, and has bunkers on both sides. It is best to play your drive left, close to the bunker, and then lay up far enough back to leave a full shot. The narrow green will only accept a well-struck shot. Slightly uphill par 4 with a large green guarded by deep bunkers on the left and a green that slopes away on the backside. No fairway bunkers to worry about. Swing away with your driver and know where the pin is located on a deep green. This downhill par 3 features a narrow green guarded by sand and water. Play a club or two shorter, but be careful. A short shot could roll back into the water. Go too long and you face a tough bunker shot with water beyond. This tee shot landing area is guarded by bunkers left and right with prairie grass farther left of the fairway bunker. A good drive in the fairway leaves you with a mid to short iron approach to a two-tiered green that slopes back to front. The dogleg par 5 has you teeing off over a mound with out of bounds on the right side. The second shot is a blind shot to a flat landing area with the green being elevated, deep bunkers on the left side and a green that slopes back to front. If playing downwind, a eagle or birdie is a possibility. However against the wind, par is a good score. Straight downhill par 4 with bunkers on both sides of the fairway. Bunkers can be driven over by the big hitters. The green is protected by a pond on the right side and a swale left of the green. The back part of the green has a shelf and is the most difficult pin placement. Hit the green and you should have a par. 
Miss the green and trouble looms left with two pot bunkers and right with a swale and chipping back up to an elevated green. The green slopes from back to front and slightly to the right. This hole is a challenge with a blind landing area for your tee shot with bunkers left to protect an errant shot from going out of bounds. The green is elevated with a collection area to the left and a series of four bunkers on the right. Prevailing wind usually is against you when you play this hole so it plays long. The start of the back nine gives a hint of what's coming with the tee shot needing to be in the fairway with long grass and out of bounds all the way down the left side and out of bounds on the right side as well. The green is elevated and sits with deep bunkers guarding the left side. Par is a good score. The tee shot on this slight dogleg left will land on a plateau, and leave a downhill approach shot to a raised green. The bunkers on the left side of the green and a ridge running across the front third of the green make club selection a deciding factor for a birdie or a bogey. This outstanding par 5 starts the most memorable stretch of golf holes in Iowa. The best rule of thumb here is to stay left and use enough club when hitting our approach. The green surface is one of the most severe on the course. This is the number one handicap hole for a reason. Ponds on both sides of the fairway and another pond near the green on the right. You must keep the ball in the fairway, and any shot at left of the cart path tends to go into the pond. The green is elevated and one of the smallest on the course. Although it's a short par 4, a lot of trouble lurks for those players that are indecisive on how to play this hole. This tee shot is all carry as the green sits across wetlands and berries run. It is bordered by oak trees on the right, and wetlands, and the deep day varilla pot bunker left. This is another hole where the driver can only get you in trouble. The carry over the wetlands is only 170 yards. A well placed 2 iron or 4 wood would leave only a wedge or 9 iron to a small undulating green with water left and beyond. The longest of the par 3s, this is also the prettiest hole. Surrounded by oak trees, bunkers, and meadows. The best place to miss the green is short, leaving a bump and run to a relatively mild surface. After not using your driver for four holes, you will need it for the longest hole of the golf course. 
The second shot must thread the needle as the landing area has a pond on the left and three bunkers that run up the right side. The green itself is guarded by water left and mounds and deep depressions behind and right. Finishing with the par at Hunter's Ridge is a tough task. A drive missed left is sure to find one of the five deep bunkers, leaving a nearly impossible shot to reach the green. This green is elevated with a steep slope in front and to the right, making a run-up shot very difficult. The left side is guarded by a 10-foot deep bunker. A great finish to a great golf course.